Good morning. Welcome to story time. This morning we are going to be reading What Kind of Car Does a T-Rex Drive? And it's by Mark Lee and Brian Biggs. Do you know what kind of car a T-Rex drives? I don't. Let's find out. What kind of car does a T-Rex drive? Uncle Otto was having a summer sale, but so far no one had come to buy his cars. Where are all the customers? Ava asked. Maybe they're on vacation, Mickey said. Well, I'm not on vacation, Otto said. I will sell a car to anyone or anything that shows up. Otto's used cars. And all these cars are for sale. And that's when a Stagosaurus lumbered into the lot. I'm looking for a car, he said. What do you recommend? Uncle Otto had never sold a car to a dinosaur. He didn't know what to say. What would you say if a Stagosaurus showed up? <gasps> Don't worry, Uncle Otto, Ava said. He's a plant eater. Okay, Otto replied. But what kind of car does he want? What about an off-road vehicle? Mickey asked the dinosaur. You could drive deep in the forest to find moss and ferns to snack on. Do you think this is a good car for him? I don't know. Let's find out. Perfect, the Stagotaurus said. He jumped into the car, honked the horn, and drove away. That was a perfect car for him. Uncle Otto, look! But just then, a pterodactyl glided down from the sky. Not now, Mickey, Otto said. I want to sell a car to a pterodactyl. Ava whispered. It's too hot to fly, said the pterodactyl. Yes, maybe I need to buy a car. You like the wind? And you're a fish eater, Mickey said. How about a convertible? You can drive to the beach and glide from the cliffs to the ocean. Is that a good car? I think so. Good idea, the predator said. He hopped into his new car and headed for the shore. Uncle Otto, you better take a look at this. You won't believe it. What was coming? Boom, boom, boom. Oh. <gasps> but just then, a triceratops ambled into view. Not now, Mickey, Uncle Otto said. I'm busy selling a car to a triceratops, Eva said. Great hordes, Otto told the dinosaur. I bet you win a lot of arguments. I'm a gentle giant, the Tyrannosaurus top said. Do you have a vehicle that might suit me? What do you think? Think they can find a car to suit him? What about a delivery van, Mickey suggested. The back is empty and you can get through the rear window, the rear door. Oh, that's a good idea. That way he can come through the back of it. <gasps> oh my goodness. You're a deer, the Triceratops said. She climbed into the van and waved as she drove off. Uh, Uncle Otto! What's the problem, Mickey? Uh-oh. Suddenly, there was a loud thump, thump. Tyrannosaurus Rex appeared. The Sagatorus and the Pterodactyl and the Triceratops bought cars. 
the T-Rex said. I want to buy a car too. Certainly. How about this nice micro car? Uncle Otto suggested. You could park it anywhere. The T-Rex bared his razor sharp teeth. Can you really see me driving a minivan? A taxi cab? I'm not taking anyone for a ride. A sporty utility vehicle? I don't like sports. Uncle Otto was starting to sweat. Help! He squeaked at Mickey and Ava. The children whispered back and forth. Finally, they turned to the T-Rex. Follow us. We know the perfect car for you. What car could it be? <gasps> oh, no. Are they going to find the right one? Make an offer. A monster truck. Is that the perfect car for him? Oh, I think he might like it. The T-Rex loved the humongous wheels. He let out a roar of delight and hit the road. I'm changing the name of the business, Uncle Otto said. Dinosaurs are great customers. Maybe you should hire us to help out, Ava said. That won't be necessary. I'm a dinosaur expert. He's a dinosaur expert now? Hmm. That's when a really big customer stepped onto the lot. Otto's Dino Cars! How big? Hmm. Where are they going to find a car to fit this one? That big. Do you think they're going to find a car for that one? The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the book. What kind of car does a T-Rex drive? Now we know. What is it? A monster truck. Yay. Have a great day.